Almighty God. Come on in. Ramamama here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you for this sound. God, we thank you that today we're making a sound. Hallelujah. A sound. Glory to God that heaven shall obey to a sound that will make demons tremble and demons flee a sound on tonight. People of God, I need you to come on in. Hallelujah. Tagging and sharing. Come on on tonight. There is something, hallelujah, that is taking place on tonight. Come on in, everybody. I need you to come in tagging and sharing. Come on, tag, tag, tag. Tag 15 people you care about. Tag 15 people you want to motivate on tonight. Come on, people of God. I need you guys to help me build an atmosphere on tonight. An atmosphere that will make the enemy mad on tonight. An atmosphere that let the enemy know you're a You're no longer throwing in the towel. An atmosphere on tonight that let the devil know. He better stand God. Why? Because God is getting ready to move for you on tonight. I need everyone to share this live. Come on in, tagging and sharing. Come on, come on, come on. There's a sound that is taking place. And with this sound, people of God, the trumpets, Rabba Gosiah, are about to sound to let all of hell know, Rabba Gosiah, that they're messing with the wrong one. So I need everybody to come on in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tagging and sharing on tonight. Give me a second. I'm going to do the same thing. Let me tag some of my snipers in the spirit realm. I need some people on here that are ready to fight on tonight. I need some people on here, hallelujah, come on, that are watched as warriors, not wimps. I need some people on here on tonight, people of God, that say, I don't care what it looks like. I'm ready for whatever the devil throw at me. I need some people on tonight that shall stand guard. Come on in, people of God. Tag, tag, and share. Come on, share this live. Just give me a second. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As I begin to tag some people on tonight. Hallelujah. That I trust. Glory to God to help me build. Glory to God. A sound. A army. Hallelujah. So we can come in agreement on your behalf on tonight. The enemy is upset because the enemy is defeated on tonight. Just give me a second, people of God. Glory to God. Come on in, everyone. Come on in, everyone. Come on in, everyone. I just did. They keep on coming back. But I'm going to block them all night long. Come on, don't get sidetracked. Come on, come on, don't get sidetracked. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in, tagging and sharing everyone. Give me a second, people of God. Give me a second. I'm sharing this live and sending it to people inboxes. Glory to God so we can get the live moving. Come on. Can I speak blessings over everybody that's coming in on tonight? I speak blessings your way. Glory to God. Just give me a second. I'm inboxing some people um, that I know need this word. Hallelujah. On tonight. Just give me a second. Glory to God. I'm excited about today's message, people of God. Glory to God. Y'all give me a second. I'm inviting some people to the live. I said, as you come in, please begin to hit tag and share. Come on in, people of God. I need everybody dropping in the comment section. Come on, at everyone. Hallelujah, at followers. Come on, at highlights. On tonight, glory to God. Come on, there's a sound that is taking place, people of God, that will charge all angels. There's a sound that is taking place on tonight, people of God. Come on, that will back the enemy up. Come on, there's a sound. I need you to tag some people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And just put, there's a sound. Just give me a second. I'm getting ready to start. 
also over on TikTok. Just give me a second, everyone. Glory to God. Come on, come on, come on. The devil is defeated. The devil is defeated. Give me about two more minutes. Come on, I just started TikTok also so they can catch up. Come on in, everyone. I need you tagging and sharing. See, what you don't know is the quickest way to put a seed in the ground. Watch this. is by simply, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, uh, tagging and sharing. Come on, I need everybody to drop in the comment section. Come on, at everyone, at followers, at highlights. Uh, it's pinned to the bottom of the screen uh, over on Facebook, and I'm pinning it also. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, on TikTok. Uh, come on, everybody. As you begin to come in, uh, please do me a favor. Just give me a second. Do me a favor and begin to tag and share on tonight. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in. Come on in. There's a sound. Uh, glory to God. There's a sound. Uh, hallelujah. That is going forth on tonight. Uh, people of God, come on in. Uh, come on, everybody on TikTok. As you come in, uh, come on. I need you to hit the share button. Hallelujah. Right away. Uh, and I need you to drop in the comment section. Come on, the at sign uh, with the word everyone. Uh, come on, there are some of you that are watching on tonight. Uh, and it is your first time watching. Uh, but when I tell you, baby, uh, this message uh, is about to break burdens uh, and destroy yokes. Uh, it's not by coincidence that we are meeting here uh, on this Friday night. Uh, there are some of you people of God. Uh, you are on your way out to the club. Uh, but hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Uh, you said first, I need a word. Uh, oh, somebody ought to put in the comment section, I need a word. I, I need a word. I need a word. Uh, I'm telling you tonight, people of God. This message is about to give you so much clarity. Come on, just give me about two more minutes, y'all, for face uh, for TikTok. Come on, they're coming in. Lakeisha, what's up, sis? Come on, come on. I need my snipers in the spirit to be tagging and sharing. Come on, not just uh 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 Miss Trees. Where my taggers and sharers at on tonight? Uh, a lot of people will catch the rerun. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because they're going out on tonight. Uh, but watch this. Uh, the Bible says, hallelujah, something happens where two or more are gathered in the midst. Uh, tonight, you, the one that's watching this video, uh, you're getting ready to get the confirmation you need. Uh, come on, everybody on TikTok. Hold on. I need everybody on TikTok. Hallelujah, to drop in the comment section at everyone. Come on, the way you see it pinned on the screen. Everybody on Facebook, do the same thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a sound that is taking place. Come on, share this live. Share this live. Come on, give me those hearts and share this live. I speak blessings to everyone who is tagging and sharing. See, what y'all don't know is this is the quickest way to put a seed in the ground. And it costs you absolutely nothing. I'm trying to wait, but I feel God. I'm trying to wait, but I feel God on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you got some haters right now, this message is for you on tonight. If you got some enemies for no reason at all right now, this message is for you on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in, people of God. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, God, if you got, I said what I said. If you got some haters, Rabbi Kosai, on tonight, people of God, this message is for you. If you got some enemies for no reason at all on tonight, this message, hear me and hear me well, is for you on tonight. We're about to go ahead and get started. But let me say this very quickly. The Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. Sometimes, watch this, people of God. It's more of them than it is of you. So sometimes, watch this. The enemy will make us think, that we are defeated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But we are really on the winning team. On tonight, people of God, if you are just now tuning in, and I need you to continue to come in today and sharing because there is definitely a word 
The devil don't want this word to get out because right now, even my prophetic worship music, if y'all can hear, it's going in and out. So let me first pray. I come against every witch and every warlock that is tuning in right now, trying to come against the airways. The enemy is defeated by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. If you are just now tuning in tonight, people of God, tonight's message is now running. Tell that. I need everybody to drop that in the comment section. Now run and tell that. Now run and tell that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because there are some of you guys that are watching. Watch this. Just within the last week, just within the last 24 hours, you have had people who ran and slandered your name for no reason at all. You've had people who talked down on you for no reason at all. You've had people who looked down on you for no reason at all. And God is saying on tonight, he is about to rub Give your enemies, give the naysayers, give the ones that are counting you out a reason to run and tell that. So when I say something on tonight, people of God, when I move, you move just like that. Because something happens when we come together. Hallelujah. That we can take down mountains. So if you're just now tuning in, tonight's message is now run and tell that. God is telling me on tonight, people of God, that your enemies, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, are about to realize just why you won't give up. I don't know who needs to hear this message on tonight, but God is saying you're going about it the wrong way. Don't cuss them out. Don't try to get even. Why? Because God is placing a certain spirit on them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, where they are about to run back. Hallelujah. And Rebbe Kosaya. Glorify, hallelujah, on just how much God came through for you. Somebody put in the comment section, God, spin the block for me. See, there are oftentimes people of God that we are so focused on the assassinator that we forget to focus on the assignment. We're in a season, people of God, where you don't have time to address the people, hallelujah, who are trying to assassinate your character. We're in a season, people of God, where you don't have time to address people who don't believe in you. We are in in a season, hallelujah. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm in a season, people of God, where you don't have time to prove who's right or wrong. God is saying, he's placing a spirit on your enemies of now run and tell that. He about to give them a reason to really talk. He about to give them a reason to really hate you. He about, about to give them a reason, hallelujah, hallelujah, to really feel some type of way. There are some of you people of God, you got enemies, hallelujah, and didn't even know you had them. Have you ever been in a situation, people of God, where you like, dang, I ain't even know we had a problem. You Have you ever been in a situation where you like, listen, if we beefing, at least tell me. Because I'm sitting here thinking, come on, you somebody genuine. I'm sitting here thinking, come on, you mean well when it comes to me. I'm sitting here thinking, hallelujah, that we're actually friends. Oh, I don't know who needs to hear that on tonight. But God is saying, he's getting ready to give those same enemies. And now run and tell that spirit on tonight. Give me a second, people of God. Let me throw my phone on vibrate. Said I'm getting ready, hallelujah, thank you Jesus To give them a now run, tell that spirit uh, Somebody ought to put in the comment section Quitting is not in my bloodline I don't care what it look like I don't care what it seem like I don't care how far, hallelujah You throw dirt on my name What you did not realize, people of God Is that I was a seed Somebody put in the comment section I'm a seed You can throw dirt on me all you want Baby, I was born to grow You can throw dirt on me all you want. I was planted to grow. You can throw dirt on me all you want. I was planted to succeed. Your enemies are so busy focusing on the shovel that is in their hand. Watch this. They're so focused, hallelujah, on trying to take you out that they don't even realize, my God, seeds need dirt. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, hallelujah, keep mentioning me. You got to move in silence, the Lord is saying on tonight. 
it's time for you to check your circle. You see, last season, the Lord was saying, close your mouth, uh, hallelujah, until it comes to pass. Uh, last season, the Lord was telling you, uh, be quiet, hallelujah, while you're making moves. Uh, somebody put in the comment section, that was last season. <laughs> last season, the Lord was telling me, uh, do not talk about it until the keys was in my hand. Uh, last season, the Lord was telling me, uh, don't tell nobody you got a man, my God, uh, until y'all make it official. Uh, last season, the Lord was saying, I couldn't brag on my blessings But I'm in a season of my life now If I got to move in silence You shouldn't be in my circle Somebody put that in the comment section You shouldn't be in my, in my circle So last season God Was telling you to stay quiet And the reason he was saying Stay quiet, hallelujah Was to prepare you for this season That you are currently walking in This is your now run and tell That season, watch this People of God and God is saying if you got to move In silence, it's time you begin To check your circle If you rebel go side, you, you gotta Be to a place people of God Where you begin to tell them if I can't tell you my accomplishments hallelujah without worrying if your congratulation is genuine you're not for me in this season somebody ought to put in the comment section you're not for me in this season see this live right here is going to make some people feel some kind of way because the person I'm talking about this live is giving confirmation but the person is dear to their heart this live is giving confirmation but this person is somebody they love this love is giving confirmation But this person is somebody they're in love with This love is giving confirmation But this somebody you was in business with This love is giving confirmation But this is somebody you go to church with This love is giving confirmation But this is somebody who call you bestie This love is confirmation But this is somebody you opened your house to Somebody put this as confirmation if, 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 if I can't tell you my accomplishments without worrying if your congratulations is genuine, you're not for me in this season. He's saying on tonight, people of God, you got to sit back and you got to say to yourself, if I cannot make mistakes without you judging or looking down on me, you're not for me in this season. Do you know, people of God, that there are some people that you are literally connected to? Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, they come around more. Uh, hallelujah. When you're struggling. I'm talking about some people uh, who always say we're going to link up and go out and eat. Uh, but for some reason, uh, they never want to come over until they hear about your downfalls. I said, uh, if I cannot make mistakes uh, without you judging or looking down on me, uh, you're not for me in this season. God is saying if you're in a season of your life right now, people of God, where well, you got to move in silence, baby, it's time to check your circle. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm checking my circle. Hear me and hear me well. Baby, that was last season. This season I'm in now. I only need to be connected to people who want to see me win. This season I'm in now. I only want to sit down and break bread. With people who want me to succeed This season I'm in now I'm going in a whole nother direction Than I was going last season So I have no time To allow Judas to walk with me Oh somebody ought to put in the comment section Now run and tell that If I can't borrow from you The way you've been borrowing from me The last five years It seems like every time you need something from them They never have it Every time you need them to show up They're never available But for the last couple of years Hallelujah, thank you Jesus You've been giving your all For the last couple of years Come on, you've been showing them loyalty But for some reason Every single time you need them Nobody's there Somebody drop that in the comment section Nobody's there If that is going on in this season Hallelujah You're not Rabakosaya Hallelujah, you ain't for me in this season Somebody put in the comment section You ain't for me, you ain't for me See this message people of God Is to expose your enemies This message people of God Is to expose your heart Even if it hurts This message people of God Is to give you, watch this To get you to shift your circle 
Somebody put in the comment section, I'm shifting, I'm shifting, I'm shifting, God. If I trust you to tell you my business, uh, and the minute, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, we fall out. Uh, you're posting about me on social media, uh, or you're telling everybody what I went through. Uh, you are not for me in this season. If your disrespect, hallelujah, is louder than your applause for me, you're not for me in this season. I don't know who needs to hear this message on tonight, but tonight's message, people of God, is now run and tell that. God is about to use your enemies as advertisement for his glory. And it's not about to cost you a dime. Somebody put that in the comment section, free advertisement. He said, I'm about to cause your enemies. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To Urebakosaya. Go back, my God, and be advertisement for you. God is saying in this season, people of God, you cannot, hallelujah, be best. You cannot be dating people. You cannot be linking up with family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, who mean you no good. You have to be strategic with your connections. I told this story a while ago. I told this story, people of God, about how my mother, she was, she was so anal about keeping the house clean, especially with her daughters, because she had three daughters, it was three of us. She would make us clean because she said, don't nobody want a filthy woman. Somebody put that in the comment section, don't nobody want a filthy woman. And I used to get so upset with my mom, because all she would make us do was bleach the house and clean the house and we would be tired coming home from school and she would say clean up before you did your homework and, and I never understood why but as I got old, older I began to understand why it's important watch this that everything connected to you is clean but watch this people of God when we were living in the green apartments hallelujah thank you Jesus in the ghetto I don't care how clean we kept our house. We lived in a triplex. It was us in the middle and then it was somebody on the right side of us and somebody on the left side of us. The lady on the right side of us, she kept her place just as clean as ours. But watch this. My mother and the lady on the right side of us would always complain to the rich people how the lady on the left side of us was so dirty. She didn't keep up with nothing. She got a bunch of roaches and rats in her house and my mother would go to the rent office and complain and the reason she would complain people of God I'm getting ready to bless somebody it's because the house was so filthy that the roaches and the rats would begin to make their way into our apartment Somebody say infected connections. You can be as clean as a whistle. Hear me and hear me well. If you are connected to somebody who messy, you're going to be messy. If you're connected to somebody who don't want nothing out of life, you'll lose everything in life. If you're connected to somebody who's always speaking on your downfall, you can never come up. God is saying in this season, you're not in the season of your life right now to, to be quiet until it manifests. He said that was last season. Last season I told you to shut up so you can see who's for you and who's not for you. But this season you're in right now, hallelujah, is your now run and tell that season. If you got to be silent, you need to check your circle. But God is saying I'm getting ready to, oh Jesus, to show out for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're not for me in this season. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And God is saying, people of God, he's saying in this season, watch this. Do not block them. I want somebody to put that in the comment section. I won't be blocking you. I need y'all to hear me before y'all make y'all way out to the club on tonight. Before you go about your weekend. God is saying your season has changed. There are so many times we say, I'm going to close my mouth until it manifests. Because people be praying on your downfall. That was your season last season. But this season, watch this. The Lord is saying he's getting ready to call those demons out. You need them. Somebody put in the comment section, call those demons out. He said that you need them. Because you need somebody to go run and tell the good news. He said to tell you on tonight, don't block them. 
If you block them, hallelujah, you no longer have access to them. And God is saying he got you in a place in your life, people of God, where you need your enemies as your staircase to make it to the top. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm on my way to the top. Come on, and I won't be on here for long on tonight. But ah, Rabbi Kosaya, God is saying that you need to get excited because you're in your now run and tell that season. God is saying he needs you, hallelujah, to keep your enemies close. Because you need somebody as your stairway, hallelujah, to the top. The Lord says in Psalms chapter 110 verse 1, it was simple. Psalms 110 verse 1 says this. The Lord says, as you sit at my right hand, I will make your enemies your footstool under your feet. So if the Lord, see a lot of y'all, y'all throw that scripture around and don't even know what it means. The Lord is saying he's making your enemies, hallelujah, your footstool so you can apply pressure and step on their necks all the way to the top. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm applying pressure. I'm no longer crying about it. I'm applying pressure. So God is saying you got to be strategic in this season because he's going to use your enemies, hallelujah, as your footstool on the way to the top. He said don't block them on social media. Don't block them on your phone. Hear me and gear me well. He said to tell you, you are a sign. Watch this to this next, next breakthrough. Somebody put on the comment section, I'm not worried about my assassinators. There are some of you people of God, you cannot get what God is needing you to get. Because every time certain people come around, hallelujah, they shift your energy. Every time certain people come around, come on, I don't know who this is for. You're not yourself. Every time, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Certain people coming around, you cannot accomplish your goals. And God is saying, hear me and hear me well. It's time to check your circle. Who you connected to. It's time to check your circle. Who you calling bestie to? It's time to um, check your circle. Who you consider a friend? It's time to check your circle. Who you laying in the bed with every night and making love to? It's time to check your circle. Why? Because the enemy, hallelujah, will use anybody to break you down. But God is saying don't focus on the assassinator. And the reason he don't want you to focus on the assassinated people of God is because the assignment is way greater. Somebody put this in the comment section. The assignment is way greater. People of God, watch this. God is about to use, hallelujah, people, watch this, to defend your character. While your enemy's trying to tear you down, he's placing a spirit Hallelujah on genuine people who will defend you when you're not there. See, that's really the problem. Some of the people you're calling friend, some of the people you say, I'm in love with you too. Some of the people, hallelujah, thank you for the gifts on TikTok, that you are saying you're my family too. Some of the people you opening your home to, hallelujah, are the same people who are talking about you like a dog, hallelujah, behind your back. And God is saying, you're in your now run tell that season. So watch this. You won't even have to defend your name. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm no longer defending my name. Because God is getting ready to give genuine people, watch this, uh, the opportunity to defend your character. Somebody put in the comment section, Lord, remove people out of my life that shouldn't be there. John chapter 9 verse 1 through 11 people of God it talks about Jesus healing a man who was born blind I want to run through this very quickly so I can give you understanding on how God is about to use people to defend you people you don't even know people you've helped only once in their life hallelujah Jesus hallelujah healed this man John chapter 9 we're going to start at verse 1 and we're going to run through this as he went along, he saw a blind man from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned against this man or his parents? Verse 3 says this, Neither this man nor his parents have, he, I have sinned, Jesus said to his disciples. But this happened so that God will get the glory. 
Verse 4 says this, as long as it is day, we must do the work of the one who sent me. But night is coming, and when night comes, no one shall work. Come on, we get in there. Verse 6 says this, after saying this, hallelujah, Jesus spit on the ground, and he made some mud and put it on the blind man's eye. He said, go, and he told him, watch the pool, watch in the pool. So the man went down and he washed inside the pool and immediately he was able to see as he washed away the mud. See, because watch this, people of God. There are some of you that have been battling certain situations for so long that people think that God left you. People think you did something wrong. And that's not the case. God is just using you for his glory. Somebody put in the comment section, I did nothing wrong. Watch this. The Bible says this in verse 8. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus That Jesus had told him Go and tell no one But sometimes The blessing is so big You just cannot keep your mouth closed Verse 8 says this His neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begging Said isn't that the same man Who was blind and always begging Others begin to say no He only looked like him But he himself insisted I am the man Verse 10 says this, how then were your eyes open, they asked, and this is what I was trying to get through. Somebody drop in the comment section, verse 11 is for you. Verse 11 says, he said to them, he replied, the man they called Jesus put mud on my eyes and he told me to go wash. And when I went and washed, watch this, I could now see. Jesus told him, to be blessed and don't tell nobody. But sometimes, hallelujah, the blessing is so big, you got to brag on just how good he was. God is saying, he's about to give a different audience of people. Lord God, a now run tell that spirit when it comes to you. Meaning, watch this. You ain't going to have to deal with the people who talk about you behind your back like a dog. They don't never defend you. But they always want to come and tell you what he said and she said. My first question to you was why was they comfortable enough to come and talk to you about me? That's my first question. Why are they comfortable enough to talk about me like a dog to somebody who's supposed to be close with me? That's the first question. The second question, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's why are you coming to tell me what he said or what she said? What did you say to defend me? Somebody drop that in the comment section. What did you say to defend me? You done told me everything my haters said, but how did you defend me? So God is saying, I'm getting ready to send some genuine people. Who gonna have a now run tell that spirit on them? And you're not gonna have to worry about uh, if they're genuinely defending your name. Uh, they gonna brag, uh, hallelujah, on the way the Lord blessed you. Uh, they gonna brag, hallelujah, on how good you've been to them. Uh, they gonna brag, hallelujah, the opposite of what your enemies are saying. Because you're in your now run and tell that season. But God is also saying the same way He is about to send people. Good people to brag on what what you did in their life to place your name in rooms you haven't even stepped in. He said you gotta watch out also for the ones. Watch this that God is going to send. Hallelujah to slander you, but He's gonna work it for your good. Somebody put that in the comment section. It's working for my good. People of God, I want to read to you a quick story. Now, this is the opposite. I said that God was also placing a now run and tell that spirit on your enemies. Somebody put in the comment section, it's some people that don't like me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I ain't talking about no miniature haters, people who talk about you from here and there. No, no, no. It's some people who are genuinely praying on my downfall. It's some people I did nothing to, but they hate to see me win. Go on and sing, I'm about to place and now run and tell that spirit on those same haters Daniel people of God in the book of Daniel Daniel was doing nothing wrong he just didn't want to worship 
a statue. He did nothing wrong. He wanted to pray and worship Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He wanted to worship the living God. And he got caught up in some stuff. Hallelujah. Just because he didn't want to bow down to a statue. There are some of you people of God. People don't like you. Hallelujah. Because you ain't moved by the money they got. Well, come on, people of God. Sometimes people will help you. And watch this. Treat you all kind of ways. Because they feel like they got more money than you. Daniel did not bow down. There are people who feel some type of way about you. Because you won't let them run you. Somebody put in the comment section, get out your feelings. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message, people of God, is now run and tell that. Daniel chapter 3, we're going to start at verse 28. It says this, at this time, some astrologers came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, may the king live forever. Your majesty has issued a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn must worship this gold idol. And that whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown in the fiery blazing furnace. Verse 12 says this, but there were some Jews, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, who had set over the affairs of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who paid no attention to you, your majesty. They neither serve your gods, nor they worship the gold image you have set up. Verse 13 says this, furious with wage, the king said, send me Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So these men were brought before the king, and Nebuchadnezzar said to them, is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not fall on your knees when the horn go off and worship me and worship my statue? And he said to them, immediately you shall be thrown in the blazing furnace to die. Verse 16 says this, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. This is what I'm telling you. You got to focus on the assignment and not the assassinator. There are too many of you trying to defend your name and God is saying, I got you. Hallelujah. Watch this, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we don't need to defend ourselves before this matter. If you throw us into the blazing furnace, the God we serve will deliver us from it. But even if he does not, hallelujah, we still won't worship your image. Verse 19 says this, then the king was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and his attitude towards them changed. He ordered them to the fiery furnace, and he told them, Turn it up seven times harder than it usually is. The reason the enemy did that is because he know, hallelujah, they just might make it out. Some of you are being attacked seven times even harder, hallelujah, because the devil knows what's going to happen when you come up out of what you're in. Verse 20 says this, and he commanded some of the strongest soldiers to throw them into the fire. Verse 21 said this, so these men were wearing robes and trousers and clothes. They were bound together and thrown into the fire. Verse 22 says this. The king's command was so urgent that the flames even killed the soldiers. Hallelujah. Who threw them in. That's just how hot the fire was. Verse 23 says this. And these three men firmly tied together in the blazing fire. The king leaped into amazement when he saw that walking around the fiery furnace, it looked like four people instead of three. Somebody put in the comment section, God is with me. God is with me. He was amazed because watch this. How are they walking in the fire? Your enemies is amazed. How are you still keeping on, keeping on, even though they're talking down on you? How are you still able to make a way out of no way, even though they're treating you the wrong way? So the Bible says, when he looked inside the fiery furnace, he seen four images instead of three. He immediately said, bring them up. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Bible says they came up out of the pit, not even smelling like smoke. Some of you don't look like what you've been through. Somebody put that in the comment section. I don't look like what I've been through. And God is telling me to tell you on tonight. 
He's placing you people of God in front of the same ones who's looked down on you. He's about to give them a now run tell that spirit. The same people, watch this, who ran and watch this, had them thrown in the fiery furnace. The king ended up throwing them in the furnace instead. Somebody put that in the comment section. My enemies are going down. I'm not blocking you. I'm not defending myself. I'm not giving you a reason why. I'm just in a season of my life where I'm waiting on God. Somebody put that in the comment section. I'm waiting on God. Watch this, people of God. The Lord told me to give you Psalm 23 and 5 on tonight. I want everybody to drop that in the comment section. Psalm 23 and 5. It's important, people of God, that you know the season you're in. Last season, God told you to be quiet until they manifest. Last season, God told you, don't tell nobody what you're doing until the keys is in your hand. Last season, God told you to be quiet so you can be observant. But that is Rabakosaya, no longer your season. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm in a different season. I'm in a different season. You're now in your now run and tell that season. And people of God, hear me and hear me well. In this season, God is about to watch this. Hallelujah, use others, my God, to brag on just how much God is blessing you. Hear me and hear me well. Don't focus on the assassinators. Focus on the assignment. The assassinator comes to immediately destroy something, to wipe it out, to kill it. The enemy is trying to take you out, but the assignment is greater than you. Somebody put in the comment section, this is bigger than me. God has to do it for me. Hallelujah, because it's for his glory. God has to do it for me. Hallelujah, because it's going to be uh, uh, evidence that he was with me the whole time. Somebody put in the comment section, God has to do it for me. So I need you this. Because I need somebody, hallelujah, neck to step on all the way to the top. Said so I prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. Psalm 23 and 5 says this. Lord, you shall prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You shall anoint my head with oil and my cup shall overflow. That means that at this table, people of God, it will not be none of the people you love. At this table, people of God, it will not be none of your genuine friends. God is saying, I'm preparing a table for only people who've crossed you. I'm preparing a table for only Hallelujah. People who, 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 who were your naysayers. I'm preparing a table. Hallelujah. For only people who really don't think you can bounce back. So don't be shocked when you get to the table and at the table, it's some people who you really thought was there for you. Don't be shocked when you come up to the table and you see some of your assassinators are really people you thought that had your back. Don't be shocked when you get to the table. And then mess around and be your own mama and daddy. Don't be shocked. Whatever goes shot. When you get to the table that the Lord has prepared before your enemies and some people there, hallelujah, who you really thought had your back. God is saying, don't focus on the assassinator. Focus on the assignment. He said, I'm giving your enemies a now run and tell that spirit. Somebody put in the comment section, now run and tell that. They done ran and told all your business that's going on in your relationship just to make you look bad. They done ran and told how the car was repoed, how you got the eviction notice. Come on. They done ran and told how you lost everything, how you broke. They done ran and told, come on, all the negative things. But God is about to place that same spirit on them. But this time it's working for your good. Now run and tell that. Watch this, people of God. The Lord told me to give you on tonight, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7. There are some of you that are watching on tonight and your family members are already talking, hallelujah, about the foreclosure.
There are some of you that are watching on tonight. Your own family members, hallelujah, are going around talking about the court case. Your own family members are talking about how you've lost your kids. Your own family members are talking about how you're being abused and treated wrong in this relationship. Come on, I don't know who this is for on tonight. They're talking about how you lost the job. They're talking about how you're struggling, hallelujah. Come on, how you had another child. Come on, with five different baby daddies. They're talking about all the negative things But God is saying I'm turning it around Somebody put in the comment section It's working for my good God said give you Isaiah 61 and 7 And it says this Instead of your shame You will receive a double portion And instead of your disgrace You will rejoice in your heritage And so you will inherit A double portion and everlasting joy will be yours. Somebody put, I'm getting double for my trouble. I'm going to read it again. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7 says this. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of your disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. So that you will inherit a double portion in the land. And everlasting joy will be yours. It's your now run and tell that season. Where your only response need to be. Watch this. Now run and tell that. I actually got the keys. Now run and tell that. See because sometimes. Watch this. A delay is not a denial. People will think. Hallelujah. You just talking out of the side of your neck. No baby. God told me he was going to bless me with it. I got the keys. Now run and tell that. He fixed my relationship. Now run and tell that. He healed my body. Now run and tell that. I got the job I'm not even qualified for. Now run and tell that. Who am I speaking to? On tonight. God is saying this season you are in. Don't block them. Because you need to use them for free promotion. Somebody put in the comment section. You only close to me for the free promotion. Oh, Jesus, listen, 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 people of God. You got to move differently in this season. You don't got time to cuss them out. No. You don't got time to explain. Too much explaining. Too much explaining. Come on, I don't know who needs to hear this. But God is saying you've been doing too much explaining. I need somebody to put that in the comment section. I've been explaining too much. I can't focus, watch this, because I got to explain to you my every move. Who am I speaking to? I can't focus, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, because I got to give you a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Come on, who am I speaking to? God is saying this season, people of God, is going to require for you to do nothing, hallelujah, watch this, but come to the table. I want somebody to put that in the comment section. I'm headed to my table. I don't want nobody at my table, hallelujah, who genuinely there for me. No, this table is to expose my enemies. Come on, who is this for on tonight? I want you to put in the comment section, I'm headed to the table. Come on, come on, because I'm about to read this last scripture on tonight. Hallelujah, and it's about to give you the clarity you need. It's about to watch this, seal the deal on tonight. I'm headed to the table. You can talk about me. I ain't upset about it. Hallelujah. Watch this. Because I'm headed to the table. I'm headed to the table. I'm about to get everything God has blessed me with. Our foundation scripture on tonight, people of God, is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 7 through 14. I'm about to bless somebody with this. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message was now run and tell that. God is about to use you, hallelujah, for free promotion for me, the same person who's been hating all my life. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 through 14 says this. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but they will flee in seven Verse 8 says this, the Lord will send a blessing on your hands 
and on everything you put your hands to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land that he is about to give you. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm getting my keys. Verse 9 says this, the Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on oath. If you keep the commands of the Lord, your God, and walk in obedience to him, verse 10 says this, then all the peoples on the earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. Somebody put in the comment section, my name is about to be great. Watch this. Verse 11 says this, the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity and the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground, and the land he swore to give you. That mean God about to bless your children. God about to bless your business. God about to bless everything connected to you. Somebody put in the comment section, Lord bless me. Verse 12 says this, the Lord will open the heavens, Jesus Christ. Oh. The Lord will open the heavens and the storehouse will be bountiful just to send the rain on your land in the season and to bless all the works of your hand. God says you will lend money to the nations, but you will never have to borrow from no one. Hallelujah. That means God is sending the rain. The rain brings growth. You will no longer have to struggle. You will be the lender and not the borrower. Man, verse 13 says this, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. If you pay attention to the commandments of the Lord your God that I give to you this day, hallelujah, and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top and never at the bottom. Somebody put that in the comment section. I'm on my way to the top. Verse 14 says this, do not turn aside from any of these commands that I give you on tonight to the right or to the left follow the God you serve I don't know who needs to hear that but baby that needs to be your prayer every day Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 through 14 said that you'll be the lender and not the borrower said that you'll prepare a table in the presence of your enemies said that you'll bless your children your business, your money and everything connected to you said that you are above and not beneath. It said that he will make your name great. Come on, he will give you abundant prosperity. He will bless your hands. He will send the rain. You are just now tuning in, people of God. Tonight's message is now running till that. God is about to make your enemies, watch this, liars. He's about to prove your enemies wrong. Somebody put in the comment section, God proved my enemies wrong. Y'all playing. I'm telling you, Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 through 14. As I read that on tonight, I said, my God, God said he's giving me a whole storehouse. Hallelujah. That means I'm going to have multiple clients. I said, my God, God said I'm about to lend to the nations. That means that he's about to give me the overflow. And then he said this, people of God, you will borrow from none. Sometimes just because people know you need them, watch this. They'll think they're kings over your life. Somebody put in the comment section, no, no, I run me. I don't care how bad I'm doing. I run me. There are some people because you th they take care of you. They feel they're better than you. They talk to you crazy. They look down on you. They talk about you like a dog. But verse 7 says this. That the Lord will grant your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated. Somebody put in the comment section, you're defeated in the name of Jesus. I will no longer focus on my assassinators. I will no longer focus on who don't believe in me. I will no longer focus on who's slandering me. I will, do you know there are a bunch of people who cannot be successful because they are busy worried about people of God, how people feel about them, what people say about them. Somebody put in the comment section, Lord, deliver me from people. God, deliver me from what people think about me. Lord, deliver me from my naysayers. Tim, I love you. What's up, babe? 
My husband told me about your new shop. Congratulations. I got to slide through on you, King. And watch this. People want to, people will want to see you stuck at that same level. No, baby, my mindset is different. I'm not blocking you. Why? Because you're about to be free promotion for me. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message was now run and tell that. Go and tell how I came up out the pit. The same person you talked about. Go and tell how I changed my life. The same person you talked about. Go and tell how I got multiple businesses. The same person you talked about. Hallelujah. Go and tell how I got the keys to the home. The same person you talked about. Go and tell. Come on. Go and tell how I'm breaking generational curses. Now run and tell that. Who am I speaking to on tonight? God is saying do not focus on the assassinator. But focus on the assignment. Jesus could not make it to the cross. Without Judas. It started with a kiss. You need your enemies. So they can be your free promotion. Listen people of God. I just literally spoke Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 through 14 over your life. If this message was for you, I want you to drop in the comment section. This message was for me. All my life I've been counted out. All my life I've been the black sheep of the family. All my life I've been looked down on. All my life I've been told I'll never be nothing. All my life uh, uh, they've said I'll never amount to anything. Watch this. And they believe the same thing about my children. Come on, who am I speaking for tonight? All my life, I've had to prove myself. Somebody put in the comment section, all my life, all my life, all my life. Notice I'm not saying all my life I had to fight. No, this ain't a color purple movie. You ain't gonna have to fight for this one, baby. It's gonna be sweatless. Your enemies is about to do all the dirty work. They about to do all the bragging. Watch this huh? on your next blessing. God is saying, you're in your now run tell that season. You need your enemies. Watch this, people of God. I'm getting ready to challenge you on tonight to, to sow a now run tell that seed. The very thing you're being, you've been praying for is about to happen. Watch this. And your enemies are about to be mind blown. They're about to be so mind blown that they are about to run. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To everybody and brag on just how much God is blessing you. They gonna want to know how, why, how did this happen? Oh, they must be doing fraud, cause how they got the money? No, no, no. I serve a big God. Oh, they must have stole from somebody. Oh, they must have did something wrong to get it. No, no, no. This is why it was taking me a lot longer, cause I ain't crossed nobody to get it. This is why it was taking me a lot longer Because I was trying to do it the right way But because of all the hell you put me through God is about to use you to not run and tell everybody Watch this Just how successful I have became I want everybody to drop in the comment section Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 People of God pay attention to me clearly I'm getting ready to challenge you on tonight you're getting ready to sow, watch this, a Deuteronomy 28 and 7 seed. Some of you are going to sow $28 and 71 cent. And with this $28 and 71 cent, I want you to put in the memo section, now run and tell that. God is about to make those same family members who look down on you out of liars. God is about to prove to that same person who did you wrong when you was in a relationship? They didn't appreciate you. Come on, they think you fell off uh, ever since they left. Uh, he, Rabbi Gosai, uh, he's about to prove to them, uh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, uh, hallelujah, that they were wrong about you. Uh, the same people who have talked about you, the same people who have watched you struggle, is about to watch you succeed. So I want you to go and sow a now run tell that seed. Come on, and as you begin to sow, people of God, I want you to begin to comment in the comment section. Watch this. I sowed. The first thing I want you to do is pray before you give. Ask God, do you need to sow in this environment? Because watch this, people of God. I need your faith to line up with what I'm believing God for. 
I just spoke nothing but blessings, hallelujah, into your life. I just said, don't focus on the assassinator, focus on the assignment. Because the same people are about to prove, watch this, and brag that God was with you the whole time. Come on, now run and tell that. There are some of you that are going to sow 2871. You say, Dr. Shakir McFadden, I got to sow this Deuteronomy 28, 7 seed because God is about to prove my enemies wrong. I'm tired of fighting to prove who I am. I'm tired of having to explain. The ways to give is pit to the bottom of the screen. 754-246-0580. This is for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Vimo. If you're watching on TikTok, the ways to give is to the top of the screen. Phone number ending in 1562. You just sold via Apple Pay. I receive your seed. Come on and begin to sow, people of God. Begin to sow, people of God. Come on, begin to sow. Come on, begin to sow, people of God. This is going to require for you to do it on tonight. For you to step out on faith. $28.71. Come on, a very simple seed. A Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 through 14 seed. Come on. This seed is about to be evidence that God was with you the whole time. If you are someone, watch this. And this is greater than you. I don't know who needs to hear this on tonight. You're sowing into your business. They don't believe you really can do it. You're sowing into your relationship. They don't believe it can work. If you are sowing for your business to succeed, or you're sowing, watch this, for God to prove that your relationship can still stand, I want to push you to sow the 12871. It's vitally important that you sow the 128 and 71. And the reason, watch this, people of God, you got to sow the $128.71. It's because, watch this, the demons you are fighting is much greater. People praying, watch this, on your downfall, that you don't succeed. They're praying, watch this, on the downfall, that your relationship don't work out. They're praying, watch this, that you'll never be nothing. Watch this. Hallelujah. Because they think they're better than you. I'm saying so, the 12871. Come on, there's a bunch of people watching. As you begin to sow, I want you to comment below, I sowed. If you're sowing, watch this. Just for your enemy in general, you're sowing 2871. And you're putting in the memo section. But if you got demons coming up against your relationship, I want you to push the mark and sow the $128.71. In the memo section, I want you to put you and your significant other's name and then put now run and tell that. If you are a business owner, come on. And they're praying on your downfall. They don't believe your business will stand. They don't believe you can do it. I want you to sow the $128.71. You're going to put the name of your business. And then you're going to put now run tell that. Come on, $28.71. Or $128.71. Come on, Cash App, Chime, Zelle. PayPal and Venmo. It's too many ways to give for you to miss this move of God. Sometimes, people of God, you don't got to defend yourself. All you got to do is wait on the Lord. He said you need your enemies in this season. Tonight, people of God, you're sowing to put speed on your seed. God, I need you to do this thing for me quickly. Why? Because they're making a mockery out of me. I need you to do this thing for me quickly. Why? Because I'm getting ready to respond. And God is saying, don't respond. Deuteronomy 28 and and seven says this the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you shall be defeated right before you. Baby, that's a big deal. When yo, the same people who slayed you, the same people who counted you out, got to watch you be blessed right before your eyes. It says they will come at you from one direction, but the Lord will make them flee seven directions. 
seven is the number of completion. Somebody put in the comment section, it is complete. Verse eight says this, the Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on your hands and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land that he is giving you. That means somebody about to get new keys. Verse nine says this, the Lord will establish you as his holy one, as he promised you on earth. If you keep the commandments of the Lord, your God and walk in his obedience, then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by your name and they will fear you. That means the Lord is making your name great. Verse 11 says this, the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity and the fruit of your womb and the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground and the land that he swore to give you. That means your children are blessed. That means your business is blessed. That means your hands are blessed. Verse 12 says this, the Lord will open up the heavens, hallelujah, and the storehouse will be plentiful to send you the rain on your land in this season. He will bless the works of your hand. He will lend, hallelujah, he said you will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. That means he's giving you the overflow. You will be able to be a blessing. I don't care how much you got to borrow and beg. It's your time to shine. Somebody put that in the comment section. It's my time to shine. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail, he says. If you pay attention to his commandments. Come on, because you got to know what you're sowing into. That is nothing but blessings. So you're going to sow Deuteronomy 28 and 7. Come on, I'm going to give it two more minutes. And then I'm getting ready to pray. Somebody put in the comment section, I sowed. Come on, I need to see who's all sowing. A bunch of people are sowing. There are some of you that are sowing the $28.71. But I said if you're sowing for your relationship, you're sowing the $128.71. If you're sowing for your business, you're sowing the $128.71. You got to step out on faith. And the memo section, you're putting now run and tell that. That was tonight's message, people of God. God is about to use your enemies as free promotion. They're going to be slandering you, not even realizing that God is using them to set a table in the presence of your enemies because they're getting ready to watch you be blessed. Don't focus on the assassinators. Focus on the assignment. Don't focus on the person that's trying to wipe you out. Don't focus on the person that's trying to knock down your character. You cannot respond in this season. You're in your now run and tell that season. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray for every seed on tonight. We pray, Lord God, for every person on tonight who wanted to give, but they genuinely didn't have it. I ask that you bless them. Father, we pray for every person who put some type of seed in the ground, whether it was $28.71, whether it was $128.71, whether it was $10.71, whatever they sold on tonight. I ask that you put speed on their seed. You do it quickly. You do it suddenly. You do it instantly. In the name of Jesus, bless them, God. Right before, well, my God, their enemy's eyes. So they can see, Lord God, that you were with them the whole time. I decree and declare their life will never be the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I want everybody to just begin to comment. Amen. Yeah, if you're sewing via Apple Pay, it's a different phone number. Apple Pay is the only thing with a different phone number. It's 954-245-7379. I'm going to pin it to the bottom of the screen. Over on Facebook. I'm sorry, you guys. Hold on. Over on Facebook, it's a different number. Hold on. On TikTok, it's to the top already. But on Facebook, I have to pin it. If you're doing Apple Pay, it's pinned to the bottom of the screen, 954-245-7379. But if you're doing Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo, same phone number, 754-246-0580. If you're doing Zelle, Gum Ministries is going to pop up, G-U-M, for God use me. If you're doing Cash App, put in the full phone number into Dr. Shakira M. pop up. They've made fake Cash Apps of me. I have on a black dress. You got to put in the full phone number. If you need an invoice, you can also text the uh, word invoice with your email. 
and the amount you want me to request to the same phone number. I'm going to get ready to end the live over on TikTok. I love all of you. Good night. And then I'm going to end the live over on Facebook. I love you guys. I'm excited about your future. Don't worry about the assassinators. Just focus on the assignment. You got this. Watch how God prove them wrong. <laughs>